and welcome to Stepping Out Blessed with Opal Dalton and friends. It's so wonderful to be able to have the opportunity to come back into your home today and to share the goodness of the Lord and and to have guests with me who love the Lord and who have, mm -hmm. have things to share with you that I know are going to encourage you today and motivate you. If you watched us last week, uh, you would have seen Pastor uh, Sister Deborah Baird of Portland, Tennessee, the founder and president of Vessels of Honor Worldwide as my guest last week. And we discussed the series title, A Joint Venture with God, Being in Business with God. He's our head and, and he's the one, he's our source and, and we trust him to provide through, he does through people, the funding for the things that we do for the kingdom of God. And we discussed being on a mission with God and for His purpose. And so we come out today for His purpose and we pray that you'll yes. be greatly blessed by today's program. Yes. Uh, Sister Deborah has, is the founder and president of Vessels of Honor Worldwide and I have her with me today and Sister Faye Rochetti, right? Did I say that right? You said it we exactly have Sister right. Faye today and uh, with us who is a board member of Vessels of Honor Worldwide, and she has a ministry. Everyone, all the members, and most of them at least uh, with uh, the uh, Vessels of Honor Worldwide have specific ministries that they have founded. Yes. And, yeah. and so we have Sister Faye. We're honored to have her today. And she's the president and founder of Sword and Trumpeter Ministries. She's an ordained minister and has been a short-term missionary. She speaks at churches, women's conferences, and retreats. She's ministered in Central and South America, Israel, Kenya, and Southeast Asia. Previously, she served in the Women's Ministry Board, uh, Women's Mentoring Team, and uh, board at her church in Smyrna, Tennessee. She currently serves as the Board of Vessels uh, a director and uh, no, serves on the board of uh, what vessels of honor worldwide, right. and and his prayer team, yes. and that's so important. The prayer and we yes. have to have intercessors in prayer team, and she speaks and and everything. I've heard her speak, so you're going to enjoy her today. Yes, I know. Amen. <laughs> her desire is to continually teach women to discover their God-given purpose mm -hmm. and identity as they come to know His unmatched love for them and to grasp the vision of all that he's created them to be. Amen. And through the study of his word, to deepen their roots and become gifted and anointed, prayer-filled women of God in his service, guided by his Holy Spirit. Yes. We welcome you today, Sister yes. Faye. Thank you. So glad and to be here. So glad to have Sister Deborah Thank back you. with us today. And we know that you've got a lot to share. And... Um, we want you to share. We know you're going to speak on a, a single-minded connection with yes. God. And I know that's going to be exciting to hear what God has given you to share. Well, I do love to share God's yes. Word, and I love to share experiences yes. in our walk with the Lord. And as um, this was one of the things I could speak on, and a single-minded connection yes. with God, I began to pray about that. And then I found the word itself that really stood out was single-minded. Mm. Yes. And I yes. thought so many times. I did an examination, and I began to see that times when I come before the Lord and I pray before Him, it's not always I start out single-mindedly, but then things began to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. And then things That's began good. to creep in. Yes. And they began to take away from that single-mindedness mm -hmm. connection yes. with God. Yes. And I think that makes him sad. Yes. After all, he loved us. He's appointed us. Yes. He had created us yes. here for a purpose. But yet, how much more we say we love Him. Yes. We get on our knees before Him. Amen. We pray, Lord, I love you. I praise you. I thank you. But yet, when we come for just a time with Him alone, right. then it's like we selfishly let other things enter That's in. Right. Yes, yes, we do. And we're no longer single-minded. Amen. And I think that saddens our Lord. So yes. I'm... I myself have been guilty of this, so I know 
the places that I have to do a check. Yes. And I have to constantly be sure. When I pray, and I don't always get on my knees, we don't have to always no, be on no, our knees. No, we don't. I walk, I do dishes, I sweep the floor, yes. and I can praise Him, I can pray. That's right. And yes. ask Amen. Him. But that also, I was thinking too, when I do that, if I'm sweeping or something, am I really getting in that single mind in this? Because yes. just a little speck on the floor that you missed <laughs> can begin to break that single mind in this yes. that you're having with the mm -hmm. Lord. Amen. So we need to be so careful. So I went to Webster. I love Webster. Love you find out. <laughs> and it amazes me sometimes at the words that has the meanings that I didn't even really realize yes. was in there. Mm -hmm. And the definition of single-mindedness says, with only one aim or purpose. Mm. Wow. That's and then it also yeah. says the same thing. It means also single-heartedness, which is honest, faithful, and sincere. Mm. So yes. that single-mindedness with God, He wants us to come to Him with sincerity, yes, with that does. love, and to be honest with Him. Yes. We get that. He's our Heavenly Father. Yes, He is. And if we're doing things that, unple that ple uh, does not please Him, then I want to know that so I can, you know, and He will let you know, yes, believe he me. Will. I've had many stripes on my back as an unruly child sometimes, but it, it causes me to love Him more uh -huh. because He loves me that enough to correct me. Yes. Because he, in His Word, He talks about, about the natural Father. Well, how much more, you know, Amen. that your Heavenly Amen. Father would correct you. But that single mindedness, and then, um, it also says in James, I believe it is, it said a double mind in this person yes. is one that is unstable yes. in his ways. Yes. So if we're not single minded, we need to be careful. Yes. We don't want to be double minded in, yeah. in our walk with God. Right. Hallelujah. So what was this saying? A single minded connection. Yes. With God. Yes. We with need to God. give Him more. Yes. Yeah. And do you, I love the song that, that was out years and years ago. And do you put the tears in the eyes of the Lord? Mm. Mm. And I believe sometimes we sadden God mm -hmm. because we come with Him yeah. so f full of everything else. Yes. But just to be quiet before Him yeah. and to have that, that time yes. only for Him. Nothing else. Mm. And the phone oh, can ring, yes. so I've learned to somehow to cut mine off. I forget to turn it back on sometime, mm -hmm. but that's a good thing too, you know. And <laughs> uh, but then uh, turn that TV off. Mm -hmm. That's an interruption there. Mm -hmm. Be single-minded yes. in what what He wants us to do, and He will speak. David said, and I love this: "I will praise You, O Lord, yes. with my whole." heart. Heart, nothing between uh, that, between when we pray with God. There's nothing between us and Him. Amen. Because we're doing it with a whole yes. heart. We are holy before the Lord. Yes. Amen. Nothing else. We're not going to let anything come between Amen. us. Not break that wonderful time. and uh, Or a husband can just, uh, you know, open the door and it will distract you mm -hmm. or something. But sometimes we, we come so full of everyday things and we get before the Lord, but yet He wants us to come to Him single-hearted. Amen. Just Correct. that time of just us and Him. I had an experience one time. I mean, you know, wasn't anything wrong in my marriage there or anything. But we can be married and still have a loneliness about mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And yes. so I just spoke to the Lord and I said, Lord, I need a hug. And I promise you, I was sitting on the couch and I felt like somebody's arms went mm -hmm. right around me. Mm -hmm. And I know that that was God. Yes. And then I could feel them start to withdraw and I said, oh no, Lord, not yet, uh. not yet, Lord. And it, I felt them wrap around me oh, again. That's wonderful, yes. So I know God is real. Yes, God is. is touched yes, he is. by our, what what bothers us. Yes, He is. God don't want us to go around bothered all the no. time. No, He doesn't. He is the answer to everything. Right. He's so, mm, I wouldn't be here if it hadn't been for Him. Right. Because He spared my life. I had a, 
uh, near death. I mean, we were just, uh, I only had, they didn't give me 24 hours, mm -hmm. but God spared my life. So I would answer the call. I was running from my calling, and God spared my life. Praise so I'm here God. today yes. because I answered my call in the ministry. Yes. Amen, but I desire to go before my Lord single hearted, yes. Yes. That's single such a good word. minded, yes. and be. Um, just give him all. Yes, and you know, uh, we as women in ministry, I know, and people have all kinds of careers and jobs, and, and you have to think of other things. We have families, we have children, you know, husbands. But I think that one of the things about staying single mind with God is that we are so busy. Yes. We, we have so much going on in our lives. Um, and this is really, what do you say, Sister Deborah? Don't you agree that it's just, it's, that takes discipline. We have to yes, really yeah, work really, on this. Yes. It, it's something we've got to uh, practice every day. Yes. We have to learn to discipline ourselves. It'd be easy to go off and do our own thing, mm -hmm. what we feel like doing right. or not feel like doing. Right. Yeah. But if we trust in God and have that single-mindedness that Sister Faye is talking yes. about, uh, that Focus on Him right. and, and let Him lift us up, let Him direct us right. our past and and everything, I feel like that, you know, things would go so much smoother. Right. We make things hard on ourselves we do. sometimes. We do. And don't you think sometimes that we get to be a yes person? Sometimes mm -hmm. we feel a mm -hmm. false responsibility. Sometimes we get uh, to where we're feeling, well, we have to do this yeah, or that. And you know what the Lord no. has taught me well, in the past year? Learn to say no. Learn, that's you know what, and you know I've been in a lot of transition the last year, and I know you've had, you know, we both had a lot of things mm -hmm. happening with us that we were, was unforeseeable with us, you know, mm -hmm. and or I know with my health, and I know you've had triple bypass surgery, yes. right? And these were not things we planned up; it wasn't on our calendar or our agenda, <laughs> right? But God's been so wonderful through it, but we're learning lessons through it too. And yes. you know, through my experience with my surgery. God brought me to the point where I had to get single-minded. Single-minded, mm -hmm. right. And I believe that was a good purpose get for that. refocused, yes. right? That I've had to, too. I've had, I've been put three, uh, to sleep three times this year, had uh, surgeries, and uh, it just, we had transition within the ministry with mm -hmm. moving. There's a lot of things that's caused us, and like you said, Sister Faye, it's not always on our knees, right. but it's a conscious thing all day about it, you mm -hmm. know, to stay single-minded lest we get off track. Mm -hmm. Because if you get off track, sometimes it's hard to get back on. It is. You know? And a delay. Mm -hmm. That is a delay that we don't want. And we, we say we can't afford it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? We can't afford to get off track. <laughs> Time is, short. Time is short. Time is short. We're on kingdom business. We've got divine Amen. connections, divine appointments, uh, divine yes. assignments. Yes. And We're ambassadors for him. Too, yes, on we assignment. are. And so we want to stay single-minded. Yeah. And that's another thing. We're not all called for the same purpose. Right. We're not. And we, and uh, as Sister Deborah said in our previous program, uh, we sometimes have seasons that... True. And I, I look back and I think, oh, I, I realize I've come out of a season. I'm thinking, oh, Lord, I hope I didn't miss you. I didn't... Mm -hmm. You know, I, do you ever feel that you just didn't finish everything you wish you could have done? You question yourself. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you come out of the season, and you know that you finish that assignment. Yeah. It's no more, <laughs> you know. But then this guilt that comes from the devil. it tries to come from the devil. You say, "Oh, I meant to say that," or "I went." Right. We're going to say exactly what the Lord That's right. wants right. us to say. Yeah, you know, I'm reminded so. the scripture it says, "Where it says, take no thought for what you're going to say that very right. hour." You're right. Right. Yeah, and you know, I often say that you know, if uh, if we pray and and just give it to God, you know, Lord, when I open my mouth, you fill it with yes. your words. Open our Amen. mouth and we'll fill it. Oh, that is so good, Sister Deborah, and, and this is so good, Sister Faye. Yes. And I know you may have some more there you want yes. to share with us on this. Well, I, I just had to interject there some of it. <laughs> I got really excited listening. <laughs> well, uh, to be single-minded, too, uh, to me would go right along with, it goes falling right into free to be the me yes. God created mm -hmm. Amen. me to be. Amen. And we're not from the same mold no. except we are made by the same pot. Yes. yes. Every yes. vessel is Amen. different. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Thank Praise God. God. And I love yes. Jeremiah. Mm. I mean, what God told him. And it still amazes me because every one of us has the same 
thing about us that he told Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. And that was before I formed yes. you in the Praise womb. God. Before Thank your you. mother and dad yes. were ever even born, born either. Yes. Amen. I already knew you. Amen. And he said, I knew you before you were born. I ordained you yes. a prophet to the nation. Yes. Again, a, a prophet, Praise an God. ambassador, or representative, or yes. whatever. We're all that. When we come to the Lord uh, and give Him our heart and confess Him as our Savior, we are all then, we become disciples. Yes. And a disciple goes out and disciples others. And yes. we keep adding to mm -hmm. the family of Amen. God. Amen. And God, and another in uh, Jeremiah 1, 9 said, Behold, I have put my words yes. in your mouth. Yes. And Amen. we know that to be today. Amen. You know? So uh, it, it's just, God. Jeremiah was, you know, he was only about 17 or so, I've read, that uh, when God spoke this to him. But when he says in uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, and I know y'all know this, yes. but it says, for I know the thoughts that Amen. I think towards yes. you, Amen. says the Lord. Amen. Thoughts of what? Peace mm -hmm. and not of evil no. to give you a future yes. and a hope. Amen. The Glory. Lord knows oh, us goodness. in yes. and out. Mm -hmm. And I, I love uh, to just get in his word. I love to use different yeah. types of uh, versions of the Bible because it Study all comes it back to the same thing. Yes. No matter how they decipher that scripture, it comes back meaning yes. the same thing. So we're unique in yes, the Lord. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And to be me, we I don't have to be like you no. or Sister Deborah no. or anyone out there in the audience. No. It's just we are a unique individual Special. in the Lord. Hallelujah. He's special. He's and, a treasure and gift, but we are special to him. And uh, so he knows each one of us. Yes, he does. He's gifted each one yes, of us. Yes, he has. And so we're unique, and in being unique, there's no duplicates no. with us. No, And I was reading this morning something that I had found. Uh, we're originals. But even without us, if our story wasn't in the book of God, something would really be missing. Right. Because right. He's created us. He's we come from the same Father, but yes. we come from different molds. Right. So no two That's molds wonderful. are alike. That's right. So hallelujah. That's good. That's good. And That's to a good know word. Yes. by God before being born. Yes. We and when he prayed in the garden with Gethsemane in Gethsemane, what was the Lord saying? The one thing he said, he prayed for us even before we were created. He wants us to be with him and have that same relationship that him and the Father had. So yes. he prayed for us before we were even formed. Yes, he did. That that's the type of relationship yes. that we're going to have with him. He desires that type yes. of relationship. Yes. And then one last thing was, what was that prayer Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane? Father... I will that they will have the same relationship yes. just yes. like you and I have. Amen. Generation and it's after something generation. very easy. Praise God. So yes. easy to do. Yes. He's Amen. already prayed. So he prayed for you and he prayed for me. Yes, he did. And he'll always qualify us. All we have to do is be that willing vessel. Be that Amen. And Jesus. know who you are in Christ. Amen. Don't let Satan come at you. He will laugh at you. He'll make fun of you. Mm -hmm. But you know, you remind that devil that we are unique. Yes, we, we are. are. Originals. That's we right. are ambassadors. Yes. Amen. And I tell him all the time. Don't you get tired of losing where I'm concerned? <laughs> right. I mean, Amen. I'm a That's good. They yeah. can tell you. They yeah. tell me yeah. I had to act out in a uh, up at the retreat. Wendy Warrior, that was me. <laughs> I was dressed up in my fatigues right. and I had my sword. So I'm Wendy Warrior when it comes badly. Amen. With the, with well, the he devil. said the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Yes. So we're not fighting, you know, with natural swords no. and and things, and but we are fighting in yes. the I say the secret closet. That's the mm -hmm. best place that mm -hmm. we can go and pray and, and, and our sword, right? Right. use with our sword. That's <laughs> and, right. And you know, uh, in the natural things, you know, when we're going, uh, maybe financial or health issues, you know, we fight as hard as we can. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. And, uh, you know, in the military, you know, they fight as hard as they can, uh, can you know. Uh, they take it by force. Yes. We're in the force. spiritual realm. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean... 
Uh, yeah. you know, I want to share with people when you're in the spiritual realm, right. if you want to see something happen, Sister yes. Oprah, we've got to take it yes. by force. Now, that's not talking about, you know, uh, a natural physical weapon. Right. You, um, you get down on your knees or wherever, you stand up wherever that's you right. want to pray. Yes. You get in your prayer closet, yes. your war room, yes, our war uh, room. whatever yes, it Lord. takes, yes. you take it by force. Yes. Whatever the enemy is attacking you yes. with. You take it take by it. force. Take it by you take, force. You don't allow the and enemy Satan to come let into us your camp. Mm -hmm. Right. Satan won't let us just have it. And, and no. we, you, know, you don't allow him to come into no. your camp. You just say, hey, devil, right. you know, this is mine. This, right. Yes. And you're right. not going to take this That's from right. me. Right. You're not going to attack my family. You're right. not going to attack my children, Amen. my church. Right. No, we've gotten away from the single mindedness of we praying have. for our churches. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. For our congregation. Yes. And you know, that's you know, that this has stirred me up, it's Sister so Faith. Thank you so God. much because <laughs> because you know, we've gotten away yes. from praying for our churches, right. praying for our pastors, our leadership. Yes. 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 And we've got to hold them up. Right. You know, right. you don't know what your leaders no, go through that is so true. just for the congregation. For the congregation, You're you know, so the, right the shepherd ever. goes off to take care of the yes. one. But you know, the you know, mm. the word of God says, "My sheep know mm. my That's voice." That's right. Yes. So if you want to be single-minded with Christ uh, and single-minded on His words, get into His word yes. and yes. get refocused. Amen. Sometimes right. we have to go back to that boot camp, so to speak. We you do. Know? Yes. yes. And we must remember too what was. Jesus' weapon in the wilderness when he for 40 days. Mm -hmm. the word. It is it written. Is written. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's I, right. I like lifting my sword. And so you see, also Satan Jesus. attacked him when he came yes, right after did. 40 days of mm -hmm. fasting. And he he tried to attack him. And, yes. and when we get in a, in a week, so yeah. much mm -hmm. going on, and we're not single-minded. Mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. came out single-minded. Mm -hmm. Praise God. When you take and it, pass the oh, test. Glory. the uh, fasting <laughs> would not... <laughs> He didn't have food. He didn't have water. No. But the, he, he and Satan thought he'd be so weak. Right. Badly uh -huh. mistaken. He'd fall oh. into the snare. Right. But he said, it is written. It is written. And, and so today, that's what, out there, our audience, that's what it is. Yeah, speak to yeah. them. It speak is, to them, is, Sister Faith. Look over here and speak written. to them. Yes. Speak so to them many times them I have had to say, it is in my Lord's Word. Yes. It is written. Yes. yes. And that's what we need to be yes. doing more. Yes. Be in His Word more. Go in and be single-minded when we pray to Him. Yes. Even there's times I used to, when my children were growing up in teenage years, and the Lord has to help us through them, yes. hallelujah, <laughs> with our children, I would put mm -hmm. a do not disturb on my door <laughs> when I went in to seek God. Mm. And that's what we do. And that's what we need to do with Satan. Do not disturb. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, yes. I'm going to my single-minded prayer that's war right. room and do not bother me. Do not bother That's me. right. And we've got to get back to that. I mean, really, we start sometimes and then isn't it something tries to pull us out. Mm -hmm. We just really need to get determined, more determined Amen. sometimes to keep that single-minded connection. To set that time, you know, my phone actually rings at a certain time every morning. Mm -hmm. And I can almost guarantee you something will come. Oh, yeah. And that's my, mm -hmm. that's one of my alerts. I've got some different alerts to get in the secret closet. I can almost guarantee you about oh, that yeah. time, I will get something, you know, a text, a phone every call. Every single time. Every morning. I mean, you can about guarantee it will happen. Yeah, I can't tell you. I need to lay the phone in another room. The <laughs> stories that I've heard from different women. Mm -hmm. That when they go to pray or study, right. that you know family family members right. or you know or, right. the, or the phone and thing. That's why you know you were talking about uh, uh, turning off the TVs and things like that. Well, mm -hmm. turn off your computer. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, oh, that's yeah. It. You know, and uh, your phone, and, you know, our phones, yeah. and, and your and, phones. and your phones because. By leaving those things on, I know we forget sometimes, but we by do, leaving those things on, it takes away. It's an uh, open door. We can't get single-minded. It, it could be the crack that the enemy comes in. Exactly. Into. So I believe God is yes. calling His people back. I do too. Sister back Deborah. to refocusing on, yes. on those things and, and having that single-mindedness. I believe that. When we have that single-mindedness, uh, uh, I believe that He's going to reveal and manifest more things Thank to you us. Yes. Uh, you know, I, you know, in your prayer time. When, when you seek the face of God, you have that single-mindedness, and we've gotten away from travailing. We have. Yes, we, I've been dealing with that, saying we've got to get back. Mm -hmm. We've got to, you know, I know things happened this year with me, and I had the different things that sort of seemed to knock me out physically, you know, but 
and I, I prayed a lot during those times, but it's different. Mm -hmm. That travail is so important that we get back to the yes. travailing. Yes. We can be those well and woman, <laughs> well and women. That's okay. <laughs> but through it all, he's a good God. Yes, he, forgives he is. Us, and he welcomes us back every he time. He always we does. Fail. Yes. Yes. Well, I can tell you too a weapon I used against Satan. I was healed of uh, cancer of the breast, and I went That's into the devil's camp. Testimony. And I, I mean, I told him I was there to take back my health. Amen. And Amen. I quoted him scripture, and that, and. I never had to have. When they went in to do surgery the next morning, they could not find anything. Praise God. So yeah. I know Praise I, the I could Thank write you, a book Lord. on my many times oh, God's touched yes. Oh, yes. yes. So She's got maybe some wonderful we'll stories. Yeah, some yeah come back and we'll do this. Yes. We'll have to do these another session. God will but, give us the time and he'll make the ways. And but we, I, this is exciting to get yes. together. If I have a word, iron sharpens iron. If I have a word to say, just be ready for anything Satan's going to come at you at. But be single-minded in this when you go before the Lord. Yes. Present that Bartimaeus. I'll say this real quick. One of my favorites. When the crowd was pushing him back, be quiet, be right. quiet. What is it? Jesus. And they said, Jesus is coming. And he knew then. But you know what? Bartimaeus, Bartimaeus had one specific right. thing yes, he that did. he wanted. And when Jesus mm -hmm. said, what do you want? I want to see. Amen. He didn't go in there no. with a long list. Long list I want no. this. I want no. here and here. I want to see yes. one specific right. single-minded thing. That's awesome. That's a wonderful Good. word to leave with the audience today, Sister Faye. We're mm -hmm. so glad you came. I've, I've enjoyed, enjoyed this it. session I, on this really segment of the, uh, <laughs> a joint venture with God. We're going to be yeah. having three more. We record today with three more Vessels of Honor. Yes, and we just, uh, we're so thankful for our viewing audience and we yes, know you've been blessed yes. and we want yes. you to contact us. There's <laughs> been numbers you. on the screen and, and we hope that you'll get in touch with us and and we'll be glad to pray with you. Oh, yes. uh, also, we'd like to hear your prayer request and Amen. send them in. And we'll we've got prayer teams here and prayer warriors here, and we are going to be doing more in that secret closet, and I believe in our war room. Amen. And we just uh, encourage you to just trust God and stay single-minded, and uh, also to invite your friends to watch Stepping Out Blessed on TV. Check us out on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. We're always putting up new programs, and uh, we have retreats and conferences. All of us that you see on the programs, everyone has ministries, and everyone is busy doing the kingdom business, uh, up and about the Father's business. Yeah, we yeah. bless you today. And we look forward to ministering again on the next program on this series, A Joint Venture with God. Watch for it next week. God bless you.